Right, it's Mr. D in the middle of Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with teaching tips for lesson six, day three of level two of SQ Middle School Sight Singing Program for Beginners. All right, so today you have um, two key signatures with some sharps and flats in them, uh, pretty many. Our goal is to help them name the letter of, uh, of the answer and then refer back to the key signature and correct it because if they say D, for example, we want them to say D flat if it's in the key of D flat. So they're able to find dough. They're practicing lots of skills. They're you know, able to find uh, where dough is, and that's important. They should know that from the original series. They're able to name the letter using bass or treble clef, and that's uh, important. So they're putting lots of skills in here together, and we're adding on the skill of look, referring to the key signature so they understand when something's called G flat, F sharp, and this sort of thing. This will help them later when they're building the scales. Then we're gonna have the keyboard and they're gonna to refer to it. And I'm gonna ask kids to come up and name notes. We're, we're actually teaching what a sharp, when we see a sharp, what it does to a pitch, and when we see a flat, what that does to a pitch. It's in the warm up. And then we're gonna go uh, and have them show which D flat or whatever it is that we're gonna have them do, where it is located. Um, we'll do, I'm going to do several more examples after that. I'm just going to say, okay, so where is G sharp or where is A flat? And then I'm going to ask the difficult one, where is C flat um, or where is B sharp? So they continue to recognize that the rule is um, raised or lowered by a half step. Okay, so that's what we want to get into their brains. And then on the rhythm exercise, we're continuing to practice the 16th notes. I'm trying to make them as fun as possible with lots of syncopations, um, lots of times for them to really bond with their part, um, hearing each other's individual part. Yesterday, my own group did a great job. I could hear everything very clearly in the rhythmic example. They're developing independence, which is what we want in this three three part mixed group. And then the sight singing example, um, is in the key of G, it has just one sharp, but again, I'm going to keep referring back to the key signature. Is Do G or is Do G sharp? And let them just tell me. And then I'm going to ask them, okay, then which note is sharp? And then let them tell me that as well. So that's what I'm doing, referring back to it so that we're building that foundation so they start to get to the higher level of understanding of building of scales and that sort of thing. All right, hope that helps. Have a great day.